So the next error handling function we'll look at is the warning function. And the warning function is used when the program encounters unexpected conditions. So that is, when we have unexpected conditions, a warning message will be displayed. However, unlike the error function, the program will not be aborted. So let's now try and implement a warning message rather than an error message when the input tail function is a character or a string. So I'll just include that as a comment here. So we're going to check the input variable and warn the user of unexpected results if it is not a number. So just like we did with the error message, we can actually use this same uh, if statement for our warning function for our warning function. So if we just recycle this piece of code and the warning the warning function uh, has very similar syntax to the error function where this is where your warning message also oh, this string is a warning message that will be displayed okay so let's actually just replace this um, with something relevant so we'll say input is not a number unexpected results may occur and we just have to make sure we comment comment out this error function okay so, so now we'll demonstrate how the warning function will continue to execute the program when an unexpected condition is encountered So just running the force calc function and passing in a random character. So we'll pass in M. Just make sure I've saved. Yep. So we can see our warning message um, has been displayed. And it says input is not a number, unexpected results may occur. And so here we can see um, um, after this warning message, sorry, we can see that the um, execution of the program has still continued and we do indeed end up with some unexpected results. But in fact, all the program has done to reduce this value of force is replace the character M with its uh, ASCII value, which in this case is unexpected. So the next video, I'll discuss the assert function.